Let's take a look at another example of the solver using a loan amortization schedule. I can afford to pay $500 a month on this loan and um, I'd like to do that based on some constraints of the variables inside the loan. One thing I'd like to make sure that the interest rate is stays between 10 and 15 percent inclusive, meaning it can be 10 and it can be 15 percent or anything in between. And the loan payments um, are up to 36 months, but no higher. And as long as those constraints are met, I'd like to see if I can, um, or what my principal amount, the amount I can borrow for a $500 monthly payment. To start this, I'm going to go ahead and just click on the solver tool. And when the solver comes up, I see set objective. I'm going to come out here and check my monthly payment. And I'm going to say that it's going to be $500. Uh, by changing uh, these variables here, um, that would be the principal amount, the interest rate, and the terms in month. Now the constraints, I'm going to come out here and add a constraint. And I'm going to go ahead and say that the interest rate here can be greater than or equal to 10% and I'll add that and the interest rate must be less than or equal to 15% and I'll add that and I'm going to say that the term in months for the loan can be less than or equal to 36 but no more and I'll add that. I'll go ahead and click on cancel and it brings me back to the solver and I can see my constraints in here. D4 is less than or equal to 15%. It is also greater than or equal to 10% and in D5 which is the term it must be less than or equal to 36. I'm all set. I have my value of 500. Looks good to go. I'm going to go ahead and click on solve and it looks like the solver found a solution. The monthly payment is $500. Term and month is 36 months at 12% and I can take out up to $15,115 for that amount. I'll go ahead and keep the solver solution. I will go ahead and not return to the solver. I'll go ahead and click OK and I'm finished.